after the beginning of the Middle Kingdom, there was this period called the Armana period. Um, what we need to know primarily is that there was one pharaoh um, by the name of Akhenaten. Um, he changed his name. He was actually um, Akhenaten, and then he changed his name to Ak Akhenaten. And what he was doing was um, trying to change the structure of, of religion in Egypt with a change of the name. He was trying to glorify a kind of a new deity um, known as Aten and try to make that uh, and Aten is kind of like the sun disk. Ra or Re, Amun, Horus, and the scarab beetle Kepre are all examples of gods associated with the sun. But the idea of a monotheistic religion in which the Aten was the only god, not one of many, was a revolutionary new concept. Also revolutionary was the fact that the Aten could not be represented in anthropomorphic, that is, in human form, as was commonly done with... Egypt, land of the pharaohs. This ancient country is home to many astonishing wonders, gigantic pyramids, and huge temples. But its desert hides what may be the greatest secret of all, an abandoned megacity. Akhenaten's religious reforms are considered the first true expression of monotheism in world history and have been praised and criticized in the modern era by scholars arguing for and against the so-called heretic king. The Amarna period is, in fact, the era of ancient Egypt's history that has received the most attention because Akhenaten's reign is seen as such a dramatic departure from the standard of the traditional Egyptian monarch.